Your morning news now. Ukraine submitted a peace proposal to Russia as ceasefire talks resumed in Istanbul. Ukraine said it's willing to declare neutrality in exchange for security guarantees. The Kremlin announced that it's pulling its military back from Kyiv, though the Pentagon believes Russia is simply repositioning troops to attack elsewhere. Yesterday, President Biden signed a bill declaring lynching to be a federal crime. The measure is named in honor of Emmett Till, who was lynched in Mississippi in 1955 when he was just 14 years old. More Americans are now eligible to receive another coronavirus vaccine booster shot. The FDA authorized a second booster dose for those aged 50 and up, as well as for immunocompromised people as young as 12. Federal regulators are responding to Minnesota amid an outbreak of avian flu among livestock. Governor Tim Walz announced that the USDA emergency response team has been sent to the state. According to some reports, upwards of 300,000 birds have been affected. Right now, there isn't a significant concern about food safety, but if avian flu continues to spread, it could impact prices at the grocery store. Minnesota is the nation's top turkey producer. 46 degrees and cloudy today. Could see some passing of showers likely, especially late this afternoon into this evening. East-northeast winds at 10 to 15. Attorneys for a man accused of driving his SUV through the Waukesha Christmas Parade want to push his trial date into 2023. Prosecutors say Daryl Brooks drove through the parade, killing six people and injuring dozens more. A judge scheduled Brooks's trial to begin October 3rd, but defense attorneys told her Tuesday that they can't be ready by then, given the volume of evidence they need to review. The judge gave them until Friday to file a motion to delay the trial. Attorneys will return to court Monday. The judge said she may rule on a defense motion for a change of venue as well. A lacrosse bike rental program is gearing up for its second year. The Drift Cycle Team has 50 bikes ready to put around the city. There will be 10 stations, including ones at Gunderson's Lacrosse Campus and UW Lacrosse. They hope the program can be an investment in lacrosse's well-being. It costs a dollar for every 30 minutes you ride. The Drift Cycle Team plans to have bikes ready for use in late April. A Duncan could be moving into the old Checkers location on Lacrosse's north side. The city still needs to approve the plan. The franchisee says it's optimistic it can open a second Duncan Lacrosse location. Now Checkers closed in June of 2013 and the building has been for sale ever since. And Summerfest unveiled its star-studded lineup yesterday. The Milwaukee Festival will be held over three weekends starting June 23rd. Summerfest already announced a few headliners including Jason Aldean and Justin Bieber before Stop. yesterday's big Stop. reveal. Jen's excited and on top of those big names Backstreet Boys <gasps> Rod Stewart and Machine Gun Kelly are all headed to Milwaukee. You can find more info on news8000.com. And as you head out the door, we're looking at a couple of passing showers, otherwise cloudy skies, scattered showers likely this afternoon, especially late this afternoon and evening. Slightly cool temperatures with a high of 46 degrees. Bieber and a boy band. Are we going to start singing Backstreet's Back? I think I oh, might. <laughs> I think I might. I'll be getting my tickets here ASAP. Oh, can't wait. Hey, don't forget, you can keep up with the news of the day on news8000.com. We hope to see you tomorrow. We're sending you now to CBS.